I'm addicted to drugs. We all are. If you don't have an eating disorder, get one, bitch. <laughs> Today we are going to be starting off October right with a horror movie commentary. Today we are going to be talking about one of the most highly rated, raved upon horror movies that came out at the end of this summer. We are going to be watching Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. This movie was described as perfect Gen Z humor, a movie that encapsulates a generation's humor. I don't know about all that, but I also heard it's just a fun, interesting, entertaining movie so i'm really excited about it i also heard there's a seller cast you have people like rachel said it and you have amanda lestenberg so i'm really excited the last amanda lestenberg movie i watched was the hunger games this movie was also heavily in the news like i think either right before it came out or right after it came out for <laughs> Because someone that wrote an article about it like went on TikTok and was like, yeah, after my article was posted and I criticized Bodies, 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 Amanda Lesenberg reached out to me. And to that article, Amanda Les sent this. And they very much claim that Amandala has power, which is like a very interesting way to like talk about someone that's like responding to your critical review of their film but girl anyone can anyone can dm anyone in my opinion like that is not reserved just for the famous the rich and the famous but what the reviewer failed to mention when talking about amandala they forgot to mention that a line from their review was that bodies 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 was a 95 minute advertisement for cleavage which was very weird because all of them are in just like tank tops. Like there's no real point to like, there's nothing like obscene about how they dress. They're just all like literally in tank tops. This, this takes place in summer, I believe. And so no wonder why someone from the cast would be like, yo, stop staring at my boobs and maybe watch the film. Like, anyways, let's watch this movie because I hope if anything comes out of this, I hope one of the people from the cast respond to me and I do hope they bully me. Even if I say nice things throughout the entire thing, getting a cast member to direct message you privately and be like, fuck you, is kind of fun. And it's like, I don't know why people take everything so seriously. Like, yeah, you were probably hurt for a second, but at the end of the day, you got their attention. Oh. A full tongue makeout right at the beginning of the movie. Eyes open, not seeming to be into it. it looks like a bad kiss. In a way, it looks kind of like. Gummy. It's like what I imagine like chewing on a gummy bear would be like. Why were eyes open for some of it? Do people really want me to commentate on the entire kiss? <laughs> Ugh, this fucking window. I feel like that's gonna be like a crucial part of her window not working. I feel like it's gonna be way more crucial than I imagine it to be. And I'm scared of it. Maybe, sh maybe, maybe they're the. Maybe they're the killer. Um, I forgot something in the car. Dude, why is she so suspicious? What the fuck is your issue? She's gonna throw the keys away. Oh my god, not her running the battery. <laughs> not her running the battery of the car with the lights on. If something moves, bitch, I was about to be really upset. That would've been really good though. They would've got me. Imagine being underwater and seeing Pete Davidson. I would scream. <laughs> being underwater and opening your eyes and just seeing a blurry Pete Davidson would be like the most horrific image to ever come about. Like that would be so terrifying. What is she doing here? Uh oh, they don't like her. <gasps> why don't they like Sophie? Or why doesn't she like Sophie? And that's David, my best friend in the whole, whole, whole wide world. That's Emma. <laughs> then why does Emma hate you? Oh, because you're the girl best friend. But she's a lesbian. So why don't you like her? I'm Hobic? I'm Sophie. Oh, whoa, you're Sophie. <laughs> There's a lot of undiagnosed tension in the room and I don't know what the energy and the dynamic between all these girls is, which is really difficult for me to process. <laughs> so if you want, I'm sober. Yay! Oh, thanks. Congrats. So they must be the killers. Or they're upset that they showed up late because they are planning on killing something and it's ruining their assassination plan. You just got there and you're already having sex? Dude, not chill. Not chill at all. I hope Pete Davidson dies first. 
like Suicide Squad. Spoiler. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Okay, so now it makes me think that she's the killer. Everyone's jealous. Everyone's fucking. Everyone has glow in the dark. Bracelets. This is so pitch perfect of them to use this song. <laughs> when you only know songs from Pitch Perfect, this is so pitch perfect, yeah. We're dancing. We're fucking. We're kissing. We're drinking. We're smoking. We're eating. We are having a girl summer. But you know, they always say, this is a testament that every group trip will end in disarray. Something horrible will happen to your friend group every single group trip. <laughs> I'm ready for murder. I'm having fun, but I'm ready for murder. Stop. Who wants to play bodies, bodies, bodies? Oh, fuck. Yeah. What the fuck is bodies, bodies, bodies? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Why is Pete Dav- I hope Pete Davidson dies. I don't even know his character's name. And who is Max? Who is Max? And what is his name? Nothing to do. It's very unattractive. I don't know why you do it. Oh my god, is that why you guys never have sex? What? Alex. Are you fucking- oh my god. Are you fucking talking about us behind my back? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes, because what else am I supposed to do? Not talk to my girls about my sex life? I just, right. we, I, you never really... I, so you don't. So, don't so, so you're yeah, not I'm just... You don't look like you fuck because you don't fuck at all. I look like I, I fuck. Well, I'm just saying. This is what I'm saying. She doesn't have a thought in her fucking head that <gasps> hasn't been said by anybody else. Nothing that isn't preordained. What? That's brilliant. I vote David. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you fuck you, serious? David. That's your girlfriend. You're making her cry in front of everyone. That's so lame. Wow, how fucking surprising. Oh my god. <laughs> Relationships can be really complicated. And that was kind of your fault because you mentioned their sex life. Why would you do that? <laughs> I lied. Oh, damn. Oh, oh my god. Hit the lights. Let the music move you and move yourself tonight. Oh my god, the, the phone screens all lighting up their faces is a beautiful shot. What is her deal? Why does she keep checking on her mother? What's wrong with her mother? And who's gonna be the murderer? High suspect is David, but I think David's gonna be the first kill, not the murderer. Because they set him up to already be an aggressor that would wanna kill everybody. So I think he's gonna be the first kill. I still suspect I still think Amandala will be the murderer. <laughs> I meant the other stairs. <gasps> I knew he was gonna be, I called it. What did I just say? I just called it that he was gonna be the first to die. So it was probably Greg. That's what you get for being a gaslighter. I would say RIP, but I have nothing to say about that man. I have, I have zero to say. I knew it! The light, you run the battery, guys. Keep it in your brain. David's dad explained it to us. Nobody can get in without the code. Well, Max has the code. Who is Max? Who the fuck is Max? And why do we care? I think it's a little bit strange that he hasn't, like, woken up yet. Uh-oh, Alice is the killer. What if David faked his own death? Very scream of them for him to, like, fake his own death and then come back and be like... I think there's two murderers. Let's like scream, there has to be two. This is never, a, who, a whodunit is never just a one man job. You always have either an accomplice or someone to pin the blame on. Someone fakes their death. Like, oh my God, Pete Davidson's body is gone. Like there's gonna be something of the sort like that. And I feel like this blonde girl is up to something. And she really likes that bra. She's like, this is cute. I don't think he's hiding in my bra. She was like, it's kind of cute. Where'd you get it? Personally, I don't think Greg would do it. So something about him, I just think he wouldn't. I think he's gonna be the next body they find. Cause the murderer is one of the girls. It's very easy to think it's one of the guys, but I swear it's gonna be one of the girls. Are you guys still playing werewolf? supposed to do, huh? <laughs>
What was that so funny? He's like, who wants to tell me another fucking joke? Why are they attacking him? He's really giving Beauty and the Beast. He's he's really giving Beast right now. Where in this situation was he life-threatening? I'm so sorry. He had a knife, but all of you guys like pointed their knives at him and were attacking him. When was he the threat? Yeah, blonde girl, murderer. She did it so easily. She did not hesitate at all. She's the murderer. I fully agree with that. Okay, he's dead. We killed him. She killed him. Ew! <laughs> And she obviously feels guilty about it. So that means she, that's her second kill of the night. Go change your shirt. <gasps> and even your girlfriend doesn't even like you. She's like, go change your shirt, dirty. Where the fuck is B? Probably killing again. Jesus Christ, she's a killer. And she threw up on herself, which is also disgusting. I would rather die than throw up on myself. <laughs> I would rather die. Her mother's in the hospital. That's why she's checking up on her so much because she put her mom in the hospital. That's what we're not talking about. That's what we're not talking about. I'm sorry, okay? Let's just let things start coming. Okay. Yeah, Emma, that's what I wanted. That's what I was in the mood for. Thank you very much. What the fuck? I was in the mood for some sweet lady kisses. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Um, that's the murderer. Oh my God, she's so scary. The way she walked away, she looked like a little old lady running away. Yeah, she's a killer. I can already see it in her eyes. I've also named everyone as the killer so far, so. Who's that? <gasps> bodies, bodies, bodies. Turn the lights back on. We found her. So it wasn't her. So I'm 3-0 at this point for my guesses on who the murderer is. I think it's still B. For some reason, I think it's still B. She kissed my girl and she's gotta die now. It was you. You were the last person that saw her. She kissed you and you knew she couldn't go around talking about it. So she, you killed her. You killed her. Are you wearing makeup? <laughs> you look fucking weird. Who the fuck are you? So it's not her, it's Alice. Alice is the murderer. Alice is the murderer, guys. That's my final guess. My final guess is Alice because she's so pointed on actually picking someone. Oh, she's not the killer, she was just hungry. <gasps> she stole her panties. Oh, she didn't steal her panties. Ew, she's sniffing them. Her panties match her bra. They're sharing panties and bras, so that means they're together and they must be having sex. And the panties were dirty and they smell bad, and that's why she sniffed them. She's about to break somebody's skull again. Well, she wasn't the murderer already. She's bound to be the murderer now. Now you made her angry. Where were you when Emma died? Hmm? You pushed her! <gasps> she that killed David because it's Sophie's best friend, it. and that's how she gets closer so to Sophie. That's a I had to go to therapy for PTSD. You can fucking ask Alice. Yeah, she did. For a long time. Dude, I hope she's a fucking killer. I fucking murder them, you freak! You're the murderer! I did it! <laughs> I did it! bitch! You're such a fucking bitch! You murdered anybody! You <laughs> This is the same- Oh my god, it's the pitch perfect scene. Where they're trying to get the <laughs> when they're trying to get the little harmonica. That's literally the same scene. This movie is pitch perfect in just a different way. So who's gonna tell the podcast fans? Oh, oh my fucking god. Oh my God, check her text.
But I don't think she's... Okay, so she cheated on her, so now what? I'm so confused. I already know it's true that you cheated because I found the panties and I sniffed them with both nostrils. I love you, okay? I don't see this as love because if you really loved her, you wouldn't have exiled her from the house. True love accepts you're crazy. Me! The only thing that I'm worried, like the only thing that I'm like trying to get is the motive. Like the motive behind I, any of the killers. Like if it's B, why would B kill them? And if it's Sophie, why would Sophie kill? I don't know the motive. The motive is really hard for me to understand. I think I'm gonna go with my first guest. I think it's her because I don't know why. I just feel like it's her. But since I think it's her, since I that's my true gut guess, now I think it's Sophie. Because I think it's B, so I'm gonna go the opposite. Reverse psychology, I'm gonna do the opposite of whatever I truly think it is. So I think it's Sophie. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by, you guessed it, Raycon. As you guys know, I'm a super big fan of Raycon. I wear my Raycons so often that my white pair was absolutely disgusting because I wore them so much. So Raycon kindly sent me a new pair and these are in the rose gold shade, which I've wanted for a while, but I've been holding off because I don't want to hoard all the Raycons. But since my white ones were like literally so they're brown. Um, I decided to get the rose gold pair. I use my Raycons so much. I use them when I'm working out because they're sweat proof and water resistant. So they're not gonna just disintegrate when you sweat in them. They have adjustable sizing guide. Each pair of Raycons comes with these fitted gel tips. So you guys can try on which gel tip fits your ear best because unlike a lot of things, earbuds are not one size fits all. We all have different ear holes and ear canals and sometimes earbuds just don't fit me right and they fall out. So I love it that I have this option to either grow up a size or down a size. Um, so it's like the most comfortable experience for myself. So this means that Raycons are super comfortable for every person and they also sound amazing. I use my Raycons, like I said, everywhere. And when I'm wearing my Raycons, I'm tuned in to whatever's playing. I listen to my podcasts with Raycons. I listen to music. I watch YouTube videos. I use them when I'm going on a walk, when I'm doing my errands, or when I'm even in my house. Raycons also are affordable. So they come at half the price of other premium audio brands on the market right now. So you guys can have a premium sound quality experience without breaking the bank. As you can see from my new pair, Raycons come in a wide variety of colors for you to choose from. So there's something for everybody. There's a little something for everybody, whether you like to keep it classy with the white. If you wanna be a little bit more mysterious with the black, you can have a pop of a blue, a pop of red, a pop of rose gold. It's no wonder Raycons have over 50,000 five-star reviews of their earbuds right now, cause they're just that good. I know Raycons are worth it because I use Raycons a lot. I, I am just an avid user of it. And since I'm an avid user of them, I also know the battery life like it's the law of life. Raycons have a 32 hour battery life and eight hours playtime on a single charge. This means it's not gonna run out on you when you're in the middle of a walk, if you're in the middle of a workout, or if you're in the middle of filming. Raycons have never died on me when I'm filming. That's a true fact of law. This is a this is a true fact. They've never died on me when I'm filming. And not to mention, they're a great gift. I've given Raycons to a bunch of people I know and they love them. You guys can go to buyraycon.com slash trend to get 15% off your Raycon order today. There will also be a link in the description box down below. So make sure you guys go get your first pair or your second pair or your third pair of Raycons today. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video. But why would she bring her all the way out there just to kill everyone and her girlfriend? You wanna see her dick switch her then? Cause if you lied about her cheating, if you lied about cheating, then you're definitely lying about the killings. <laughs> oh, Take the harmonica and the throw up again. The harmonica and the throw up. What are we gonna do? But why would she bring her out there just to kill everyone? Why would she like bring everyone out there? I mean, it makes sense why Sophie would be the killer because she knows all these people. Maybe, oh, she's mad at everyone for leaving her and not caring about her. <gasps> He's alive. Touch his penis. This always worked. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna be alive this whole time. And you we're gonna do the same thing he did to J Greg earlier and he was gonna be alive.
so forth. Oh my god, it's, is this Max? I have reception. Usually, I'm not left speechless after movies, but I was not expecting that. That's so funny. That's so funny. None of them killed anyone, but then they all ended up killing people. Oh my god. The best part about a whodunit movie is watching it again and watching the characters once you know the ending. I think this would be a really fun rewatch. It's just fun to theorize what's gonna happen next. I think the cast is great. The cast is like literally so strong that even if the script was a little questionable, I think they could have pulled through. But the script was amazing. Thanks for tuning in on my first watch of October. There is so many more Halloween movies to be watched this October. Leave down your guesses of what you think I'm gonna be watching this October. We have tons, we have a great lineup, guys. We have a great lineup. I'm so excited to watch some stuff with you guys. This is only the beginning. We started off with a movie. Girl who's scared of everything watches bodies, bodies, bodies. I wasn't even scared. I was theorizing the entire time. I was a conspiracy theorist during this one. So what's next to come? We don't know. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.